Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Music Production Made Easy. So what I want to do here is to tell you how to use battery with drum rack in a way that you'll be able to see the name of each sound that you load in battery inside the inside Ableton's MIDI editor. Because when you load battery, just an example here, you'll not have the names of the kit of the sounds let's load this one just as an example c1 let's go to the midi editor here we have the sounds uh the slots but i don't have the names and that's that's not very good because i don't know if i load many sounds here i will i will not have the best workflow because i don't i cannot see the name of the the samples I can rename using do other DAWs like Reaper, but not in Ableton Live. And I believe Ableton Live is so much easier to work and it is just a perfect tool for EDM, which is this, the kind of music I love it. So yeah, what we can do to have both of both, uh, the best of both worlds, like the names of the samples as if I was using drum racks and the amazing sounds that I have in the battery for, but I do not, I do not have in like, the packs that come bundled in Ableton Live 10 Suite. So what I have to do is load drum rack. Inside C1, you bring battery. So now all I have to do is to load the samples you wanna use or choose a, a kit. In my case, I'm gonna choose this, let me think, um, okay, this Amadea kit. So I have a kick. Tom, snare, and clap. Okay, I need, I'm gonna put all these four sounds, kick, tom, snare, and clap. So, what I have to do now is open the chain list and copy, uh, just duplicate the instrument in the chain here, control D, control D, control D. Now, open in out here, and here you have to limit where each sound will be where each where each the, the path between the note from your keyboard and battery so battery you it starts in c1 here this is c1 c sharp b1 and d sharp so that's what i'm gonna do the first one here i'm gonna limited to c1 the second should be the same if you have c1 here here i also must have c1 so let's do it here i'm gonna have c sharp where is it d and d sharp d sharp one I just repeat here, C sharp one here should also be C sharp one here. You can just click and drag or uh, you can also use your arrow keys in your computer keyboard. Okay. D1 and the last one D1 sharp. Okay, here we have it. So now the, the sounds are, as we, we see here, kick, tom, snare, and clap. We're gonna rename them here. The first one, I just click, it's kick, control R, and I rename it. The second is tom, click, control R, and write the name you want, snare, control R, and the last one, clap. Control R, clap. Now you can open your MIDI editor here. All the sounds that I have loaded are here. So your life's much easier now. Snare. So, see how this can make your life easier because if you have the names here we have only four samples but i still i was i, I would be confused when i would be uh, creating things 
I would have to keep clicking to see where each sound would be. It's not the best workflow in my opinion. So that's not the best thing about this. When it comes to mixing, it is great that you can have things separately like we have here, but it can be even better. I can just click to have each of the sub sounds here completely separately. I can click one by one and click in extract the chains. So this sound clap is independent and they are just in the right place as they should be if, if like if they were in the same midi clip nothing changed when you extract chains uh you don't choose more than one because if you choose more than one you're gonna create another subgroup with those two chains selected so you have to go one by one extract chains Right. Okay, so here we have, and they are as it was. So I believe this is much better than using battery without knowing which sample is which when you have all of them inside a single clip. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you like, please subscribe because I am a student of music production and I am in college, so everything I learn I will bring here, things that I find very useful. So, thanks for watching, if you like, let me know, if you don't like, let me know as well, I will try to improve. Thank you so much.